G'day. In today's video, I've got an MSI Gaming X Trio, and it's also an RTX 2080. Over here, 2080 Ti Gaming X Trio. This one here needs a bit of a thermal paste replace, a bit of a cleanup. It's fairly dusty down here in the fan and the fins, so this will be getting a, some much needed, needed TLC. To begin with, I'll just quickly give this a blast with the air compressor. Better. Dust is looking all right. Now, not sure how much of the back plate needs to come off. I'm going to assume nearly the whole thing, so I'd say we're probably going to almost have to undo all these screws that are here. So I'm just using a fairly small Phillips head screwdriver. Apart from breaking the initial torque, all those screws are very easy to get out. Goodbye, warranty void. can crack this open, like so. Now what have we got? Looking at it, I'm going to undo the three cables at the front down here. Lift that up. I'll go wiggle wiggle one, wiggle wiggle Whoop. two, and one very stubborn, there we go, three. I fold that over, disconnect down here as well, one bit of thermal paste. Yeah, it does look very sticky and oozy around here. Look at these thermal pads, very oily. I'm not sure what's going, been going on there. But let's focus on what we're here for. This one. The pads I don't believe will need to be changed. So I'm just going to purely go for the thermal paste. Get some isopropyl alcohol on here. Now yeah, we'll use a little bit on here, or none on here, I'll just use a cloth. side again. I'll focus back over here. fine toothbrush to get in between the gaps. It may make some people cringe, but I find it works really well. Just help get that last little bit of thermal paste out. And I'll go 
a little bit more. There we go. Back over it one last time. Next up, I'm going to use some Corsair TM30, just the particular stuff I've got around, no real affiliation with it. And I think I'm really under the last amount of paste that I've got in here. As I probably need to open up another tube. That wasn't much at all. Let's see what happens when I try and spread it. I don't know. I think I'm going to be okay. There we go. Get full coverage over all of the dye. I'm happy with that. Looking like so. Then next up, the reverse. I'm going to connect up this cable at the top. It's going to be a little hard to get that little camera for you. Just lines up, pushes in, only goes in one way. Next up, I want to fold it down. I'm going to try and connect these three up. Or I'll fold, flip it upwards towards it. counting everybody. Now what I like to do here is fold it down and line it up. Go, push down here, around where the die is. And from here, it's a matter of reverse. A little bit slower putting these back in and taking them out. I do like to make usually the far opposite ends first just so it all's going to line up by the end of it. Rather than working left to right and finding out that the screw's not in alignment over here. Go. So being the weight that is on this card, that's why there's back plates here, that's why all these extra screws are here, to try and stop it from warping, bending and breaking. Or you'll end up with some cracked PCB around this section of the card, which we've definitely seen a lot of that with the, 40, uh, the 3080s, 3090s, in recent time. Okay, so too much weight on a card is definitely not good for the card especially when it's not braced properly. Hello. Hello again. How are you? All right. That's the way. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time I was here. When we took the laptop, and it wouldn't start up or anything. Yeah. I was doing it again. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not going to make a lie around me this time. <laughs> Yes. So if you're just closing the screen, because that's going to start up properly right there by the looks of it. If all he's doing is shutting the lid every time he's finished with it and opening it, yeah, that's going to give a grief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 